like a lot of people, you dealt with stage fright. I didn't know that oh, in yeah. the beginning. I had no you idea. You don't have any stage fright. I know you're very, you're like. It's super. not that I'm, uh, it's not that I'm, I mean, I'm a fair amount of confident. I just mean like, we're probably going to screw up though sometimes. So like, whatever. You can be perfect. Yeah, I that's what, I think I just have such a low bar <laughs> expectation wise. I'm like, I mean, I'm going to do my best. Like, and I feel like you just, you know, sometimes it happens and you, you have nights where you're like, I did amazing. And you have nights where you're like, why am I, yeah, why, why did people didn't I get pay that? for this? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why did yeah. people pay for this? Yeah. No, I think my How did you get over started. that? Well, it started more just because I was singing in bars from the age of eight years old. Very intimidating environment. You know, everybody's already drunk and they're falling everywhere. And At eight? It was all cigar yeah, cigarettes. I mean, it, it just wasn't. And I think it was more, <laughs> yes, that's me. Little bitty, little <clears throat> bitty Shania. In bars. But, you know, and so I, I think I learned very young to put on a front, a mask of like, okay, I, you know, I'm, I'm up here and I'm professional. Yeah. And I'm, you know, and but I was petrified, I was so uncomfortable, and I think it just stayed with me. Hmm. Um, never really finding my comfort zone out there for a long, long time. I'm in a way better place now. I don't know what happened. I think many things happened, but uh, I grew up, I guess. Um, but very recently, I'm much more comfortable with it now. I just see things differently. Yeah. Um, but whoa, no, no, for many, 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 many years, till like I said, very recently, it was always very pet music. I always feel sorry. I know a lot, um, a lot of artists actually struggle with that, and I, I'm like, I don't know if I'd go out on stage and do it. I think that you're brave. If I ever felt like that, I don't think I would follow through. <laughs> it's torture. Yeah. It, it really is torture to have that anxiety. And when yeah. I get nervous, my stomach does this thing where... Um, yeah, what would you get Well, it's kind of like a bridesmaid or... scenario. <laughs> it's like, you know, you're like, oh my gosh, is this going to happen on stage? Like your horse? <laughs> like, like I get, I'm just saying, my stomach, when I get really nervous, that's what happens. Uh -oh. Like, I, my stomach that's just turns uh -oh. yeah so what am I gonna do yeah no I mean not... a lot of people do you know vomit before they go on stage I know and I know it's a reaction I I, I but I did learn from it's a very crazy. young age the mind over matter you know put the mask on yeah. get out there and and nobody should see that you're uh, what you're really feeling so I was I got good at that very young and mm. managed it but oh, oh, oh no very scary feeling. I'm glad that you don't get it now because you're so awesome live. I think that's what's so awesome about you is you're very welcoming. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're not right Talk next to Talk about Miss, stage. like, welcoming herself. No, I, you know? but I think that that's very, that, I agree. that's what is so captivating. You're like, even if you do mess up, it's like, whatever. Everybody messes up. I messed up like 10 times today already. Like, it, it happens. It's fine. Like, you have to be okay with that. It's yeah. kind of like, you know, the, the people that learn a language uh, more quickly are the ones that are not afraid to make mistakes as they're learning it. Otherwise, you never, you never practice it out loud. You never... Um, you know, put not afraid it, to look stupid or something. Not afraid to look stupid. You yeah. have to be. You have to really be ready. I mean, and listen, on stage, if you hit the wrong note, you forget the words. You do look stupid, but your fans are there because they love you, and yeah. it's a mutual respect thing. So it's, it's not fine. every night. It just happens every once in a while. That's why I guess I don't. I don't get it because I'm like, I'm I'm bound to suck a lot sometimes. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? It's like it's gonna happen. So you do not. You are so great live. You're amazing. You're just one of these um, in, such incredible singers of our time. Oh, you're, you're very nice. I I honestly though I think that's why I like listening to you too. Is like it's just listening to the artists that like you're not doing it because you have to. You're doing it because you love it. And there's a yeah. difference, you know? Like, you're not doing it because it's just a job. You, you sound like you love what you do and you're all in, like your whole body. I love that.